Greetings, everybody. Greetings, everybody. Greetings. What a fine gathering we have today. What an awesome celebration to have the opportunity to, uh, to share this with one of our own. By the numbers, 36 tackles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two forced fumbles, mm -hmm. two interceptions, mm -hmm. one return for a touchdown, a fumble Ooh. recovery, okay. a three phase player, okay. a three year starter, mm -hmm. a two year captain, mm -hmm. the co founder of End Zone Landscapes, yeah. <laughs> and an Under Armour All American. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening today not only impacts Javian's life, but it changes his parents' life. And it changes his future children's life. Proudly, and we're looking forward to celebrating this with you because I'm going to get a chance to be your defensive coordinator. Welcome to the Under Armour All America Game. awesome day even more awesome that he gets an opportunity to celebrate this with his friends his family and most importantly his teammates uh please celebrate and welcome jv and toby out yes. <laughs> well, first and foremost i want to thank everybody for being here uh everybody in this room has played a, a part of my life that that helped me get to the point i'm uh here right now for and uh None of this will be possible without God. Uh, and these people standing up here next to me believe me every day since I was six years old and started playing this sport. Um, a brother who's not here who really was an inspiration for me all the way up to, like, to, to this point now. And, you know, word, words can't describe how, how much it's impacted me. Um, I want to thank all you guys, uh, especially, uh, Gage Wager, especially Gage. Gage was a big role in my, uh, in my life in high school career. And, as long as, uh, as well as the other guys up here. Um, I want to thank my coaches, Coach Wager, uh, most of our guys, Coach Sharam, and all the guys on, uh, on the older staff, Coach Pollard, and the guys on new staff, Coach Williams, for uh, helping me uh, develop into the human being and the player that I am today, uh, prioritizing character and really just instilling those things that I'll be able to take on my, uh, on my next journey and my next career uh, to these places I'll be able to choose from. And uh, my teammates for pushing me every day, making sure I'm busting my tail at practice, making sure I'm, you know, not late or, you know, not missing summer workouts and, you know, make, making sure I'm going hard in the weight room. Uh, so, I mean, it's been a, a crazy journey. I've, I've enjoyed every second of it. Um, first can't describe how, how happy I am to be in front of you guys today and uh, I'm proud that the crowd we got is showing. So. <laughs> Absolutely. So the question was, uh, what what made these four of my finalists? Uh, so I'm going to go uh, list by list or hat by hat. So Texas really, this is my first uh, bigger offer. My second offer was my first uh, Power 5 offer. So uh, the relationships that I've created with that, that coaching staff there goes far beyond anything off the off football or, uh, you know, in normal life. So we can talk, really talk about every, any and everything. And, I mean, they, they show me a plan and – you know, where I'd fit and, you know, the milestones that I could really uh, take advantage of and achieve while I'm at that university. Michigan, uh, this was a school that really was an outlier, it was an outcast at first, but um, it made its way into my finalists because of the culture and the vibe that I got from there. Uh, it's, it's a lot similar to this place, prioritize, uh, prioritizing character and um, play, uh, the person over the player ultimately, and that's kind of what I want to be a part of. Texas A&M was a school that made the list because I wanted to stay, well, I thought I wanted to stay home, uh, but uh, it felt the most homey at the time. And I mean, Coach Rushing, Coach Fisher, they made me a priority. And, you know, I can't really think too much about it. Uh, LSU was a school that came in as of late. Um, they showed me that I was a priority for the past six to eight months. I've been there a lot, as, as a lot of you guys know, that's probably where you guys think of going, but. 
Uh, <laughs> but no, uh, the, the class that they've showed me and the, the priority that they made me really stood out to me and made me feel like I'll be, you know, the next DBU uh, alumni out of 10. But uh, yeah. Yes, sir. So for the next three or four years, I'll be furthering my education and uh, athletic abilities to Thank you guys for coming down.